How can manufacturers achieve significant growth within our industry? Well, today I'm at the On Robot event in Manchester, the Deploy event. Now, Thomas, thank you very much for your time today. You know, how can manufacturers achieve significant growth um, through automation and the, and, the, and the Deploy platform that we are discussing today? I think um, it's, a, it's a really interesting question and um, what we're seeing today is that uh, the benefits of automation are quite obvious out there. People are starting to realize that increasing productivity, being less reliant on, on hard to find, find labor is, is something that people are realizing is, is, a, is a real benefit to, to automation um, or to, to manufacturers, sorry. Um, but what we're seeing is that reaping those benefits, getting the companies in and actually investing in automation, there we are, we are still seeing quite a gap. Um, it is still quite expensive to automate today. Um, the solutions out there are quite inflexible, so, so we are still seeing quite some, some barriers in, in the market and that I think we, we would deploy at least our take on, uh, on really trying to, to break down these barriers. That's what we're trying to do with Deploy. So we want to make it less expensive to, to automate. We want to make sure that the reduction of complexity is something that, that, that's, that's going to happen. We want to make sure that the, um, the solutions that we provide is really a flexible one. So we try to really bring down these, these barriers to automation. That's really what we're trying to do uh, with Deploy. So that's, uh, we really want to make sure that, that all manufacturers can really reap the benefits of, uh, of automation. So increase adoption of automation. Uh, reduce the barriers to entry mm. and ultimately simplify um, the way in which you can introduce an automated solution into your facility. These are, the, these are fascinating things and, and it's something that all manufacturers are screaming out for. But let's focus on, say, CNC machining um, and machine tending, palletization. Mm. How do the solutions that you provide work for this specific area? I think. Uh some of the, the, the biggest characteristic of, of palletizing and CNC machine tending is that quite often you would, uh, in both types of applications, have quite frequent changeovers. So bringing in a, a new box on your, on your, your conveyor belt, uh, bringing in a new part for your CNC machine, it's a lot of, of small batch production, if you can put it that way. And uh, that ultimately also means that the uh, solutions that you need to bring in, automation solutions, needs to be really, really flexible. So bringing in a, a, a new box in your in your facility, okay, then you need a solution that really easily can go and say, okay, I bring in a new box, then I also need to be very quick to change my robotic solution to actually accommodate this change. So that I think is, is quite uh, unique with deploy. So both within palletizing and CNC machines, and we allow, we, uh, we make sure that the manufacturers actually themselves can go in and make these changes. So when you introduce a new part in your CNC machine, well, we actually enable you to, to do that quite quickly. So I think that's a pretty big, uh, big step forward for, for the industry that would really empower the manufacturers to, to, to make those changes themselves. We are all looking forward to learn a lot more about this new innovative, game-changing um, platform and solution from OnRobot and Deploy. Um, but to, to, to summarize, why and how and why is it so important in your own words for everyone to automate? Well, I think it's, uh, it's uh, something we also talked about, about earlier today, that what we're seeing is that the adoption rate of robotics is really low. We, we, we go in and see, uh, we hear a lot about robots really, uh, it's, taken, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really coming into to, to the manufacturing industry, but what we're actually looking at the numbers, the penetration rates are really quite low. We are looking at one, two percent of, of, of a robot adoption rate. And, and that is really, uh, it's really a shame because the, the benefits to automation, increasing productivity as we discussed, being less reliant on hard to find labor, increasing quality, all of these benefits around automations which have for decades actually been the same if you look at it. But the thing is that we're just not getting the companies in that we need to automate because the barriers are still too high. So so it's it's I think the benefits have it's, it's quite well established what, what the benefits are today. We just need more people to, to really reap the benefits out there.